As a society, you're not running at capacity unless everybody has a real opportunity to be fully expressive. The more we understand about how the brain develops, the more we understand uh, the unique challenges that everybody struggles through as it relates to issues of learning challenges and, and dyslexia, the more we're able to resolve those issues and in turn empower people to be more than they otherwise would be capable of being. What makes this center so remarkable is using technology and connecting dots in that brain and biological research and neuroscience uh, and really beginning to develop a platform to understand more fully how the brain works and how it develops. In the last decade we've learned from the MRI that dyslexia really comes from the brain. Technology now is such a high level that we can look at really high resolution of how the brain functions and how it looks. It's not just to look at the difficulties of the dyslexic brain, but we can really help kids and adults look at their strengths. You're taking this idea of research and development, you're taking an academic and clinician's approach and being able to translate it in real time and with a feedback loop, a two-way conversation between the researchers and students and teachers at Charles Armstrong School. We can use this information that we acquire in a child to develop a learning plan for them that not only remediates their spelling or language problems, but actually uses their strengths. What you are seeing here is that our participant is playing a visual spatial paradigm with a cue in the middle, which is directing it to the spatial location that a target may appear. And then we have a go and no-go target, which means that if it's a specific color, they're going to actually react and try to hit it. We know that people with dyslexia are often artists and architects, and so with this game technology, we can actually use this to identify their strengths in the visual spatial domain. When you can see that research now translated into the face uh, in the minds of young children whose lives have dramatically been improved. That's a pretty powerful thing. As a neurologist and as a mother of a dyslexic child, I'm really excited about what we can do here to really understand the strengths and weaknesses of dyslexia and bring this back to empower families and schools and children. If we're successful in the research, the idea would be to scale that research all across the state of California, for that matter, share it around the rest of the country and around the rest of the world. And as a consequence, there's a huge economic, social, and ethical benefit uh, that profoundly impacts all of us, not just the individuals, but the broader community at large.